urge you to move forward with acceptance of those streets and move forward with development of a path. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyone else wishing to comment on this item? Someone with screen name Pegasus. You're up, George. That would be me, George Foley, Nine Pilot Point Road. Uh, <clears throat> I'm probably the longest resident here. Uh, we moved in in 64, and this has been an issue the entire time. Uh, I just totally failed to understand why the town just doesn't accept it. The original developer intended that this be used by all people. He put the road on the ocean side to make sure it was available and that no one could prevent access to the ocean. It's a beautiful, beautiful location. You can see two lights from there. Um, you can watch where the ships turn and actually that's how Pilot Point changed its name from Oak, Knoll Ro Oak Hill Road or Oak Knoll Road, I forget, to Pilot Point was because the pilot ship was out there and it would turn on the corner. Uh, but this whole path thing is, is a, a separate issue from accepting the paper streets. It's what are you gonna do with it after you accept it? But there's, the, the neighborhood will not heal until and unless this ends. And the only way to end it is to accept the paper streets and, and put, as it was intended, give everyone access to use it. I guess that's, I would say, you should accept the paper streets and then we can take a separate action to go and look at what kind of a path or what are we gonna do down there in the future. I think there's already a pretty much a path all the way around anyways, but anyways, that's my input. You should accept the paper streets. If you can, that'd be great. It would help us heal as a neighborhood. Thank you. Uh, Priscilla. Oh. Am I on? Oh, yes. all right. I'm Priscilla <laughs> Armstrong. I can't see me. Um, but I did find the raise hand thing. Um, I live at 18 Avon Road, and um, I concur with what has been spoken to up to this point. I would like the town to accept the road, and I would like the neighbors to work together to develop the least obtrusive pathway, but accessible pathway as possible. So I urge you to accept the road and um, find a way to bring neighbors together to talk about this so that the neighborhood is not adversely affected, but there is continued for forever Shoreline access. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments before we close the public comment period? Um, I, I'm Jody Burrow, and I live at 5 Wombeck Road, and I'm the facilitator of the Save Our Shoreline Access Coalition. And the SOS Coalition is a group of 28 community members from across Cape Elizabeth. We have members on Shore Road and Broad Cove and um, over Peebles Cove. Um, I, actually, I think it's Eastfield. Uh, so they're from all over the community and we've been working together now. My goodness. Um, I know that uh, uh, I'm gonna say five years, possibly eight years, um, various members have been working on this issue. We became a coalition, I'm, I'm gonna say five years ago, and we have done petitions and road signs and showed up on voting day. We've done a lot of work um, to encourage you. I know you've seen us, I, I know you know who we are, um, and we just once again hope that you will start the process to accept the paper streets, and we believe that the SOS Coalition, the Shore Acres Neighbors, um, the abutters, we can all work together to make um, 
a footpath that's acceptable for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I don't see any additional hands raised. We will close the public comment period. And I am now looking for a motion to enter into executive session. And just as a reminder, um, whoever makes the motion does need to read the read the whole thing, please. No, no motion. Jamie? I move that uh, pursuant to uh, one MRS subsection 4056E uh, that we enter into executive session to receive an update from the town's attorney relating to the Paper Street section of Surfside Avenue and the recent decision of the Maine Supreme Judicial Court uh, in the case of Pilot Point LLC at all versus town of Cape Elizabeth. Thanks, Jamie. Second. Thank Penny for that second. Any discussion? All in favor? Councilor Devereaux? Yes. Councilor Gabrielson? Yes. Councilor Garvin? Yes. Councilor Caitlin Jordan? Yes. Councilor Penelope Jordan? Yes. Councilor Straw? Yes. Chairman Adams? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, yes, Matt. Chair, uh, it, it, just uh, just for um, I guess scorekeeping purposes, I wanted the members of the public to know at this point now I'm going to uh, exit you from the meeting, or unless you want to do it, check out on your own. That's that'd make my job easier too. But uh, at 7 p.m., uh, council or somewhere around 7 p.m. will come back, and there's another uh, link on the agenda that will open up a Zoom meeting there for the remainder of the council meeting. So if you see yourself drop out, please don't take offense. Uh, we're just trying to maintain uh, the executive session's uh, confidentiality. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. And I'll just wait, Matt, for you to let us know when we are officially in a session. Efforting it right now. <laughs> So, good to go, Madam Chair. Okay, thanks. Thank you uh, for your patience. <laughs> all right, I'll just, uh, yes, Valerie. I, I just noticed it says recording. Um, oh, is it awesome. recording, Matt? Not anymore. Okay. Thank you for that.